I'm gonna close my eyes. I am Mela. I rule Zofia and offer its people my love and blessings. Oh my god! I closed my eyes because I didn't want to see her. Oh, Mila's turn wheel! Okay, I was gonna say, let's try and guess who it is, but she just says, I am Mila, so it's Mila. <laughs> Whoa, the art! Whoa, my, oh my, what is with the art? The art is so different! What's your ability? Oh, it's against Burkut! Fallen Burkut! What the? Um, she has a very, very manly groan, or grunt. <laughs> Wait, what? Was there an ability shown? I, I I couldn't tell because they showed they showed Burkut, but I I couldn't tell what they were trying to show off there. But yeah, it was Yu-Gi-Oh text. It was too long to read immediately, so we're gonna have to go back and read that in a moment. Oh, but the heroes! Oh, Leaf is back. Mythic Leaf is back. Ah. Uh, uh, Larcy's there as well. That is a good, good set. All right, here we go. Let's free the people. Okay, so Mythic Heroes. I think everybody and their moms guess Mila. I've been hearing about her coming forever now. Ever since Duma showed up, we're like, it's gonna be Mila. The goddess of love of... <laughs> what is with this art? Oh. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> what? All right. I get people, I get artists like to like to do do their thing, right? You know, put their flair on it. But this is one of the most unique looking heroes in Fire Emblem Heroes, and that's putting it lightly. I have never seen anything else in this game that looks like this. This looks like what is this? This is like old school, not even old school, but art from the 1500s, the Renaissance. Man, that is a long time. I'm not sure if everyone's gonna be down for that. This looks a lot better though. Whoa. All right. But it's not about her looks. It's about what she does. It's just a Roman painting. It's perfect. It looks like a Roman painting. All right. She has nurturing breath, grants defense plus three, and foe's range equals two. Cactus damage using the lower foe's defense or res. That's the standard effect with defense plus three. Additionally, grants attack speed, defense, res plus two to allies within seven rows and seven columns. Centered on unit during combat. Why don't you say the entire map? Why don't you just say the entire map? Oh my goodness. You guys remember Marth? Marth was plus two to all allies within two spaces. <laughs> Mila's like, plus two to all stats. Seven rows, seven columns. It's everywhere. Are you kidding me? <laughs> okay. I remember Mad Crash and Legion were in particular talking about getting a uh, support hero, refresher hero, anything for... Uh, Astro season and double checking because I'm really hot right now and I'm and probably gonna miss something. This is, should be the Astro hero, right? Light. She's light. I guess it makes sense, but light, no. That doesn't look like Mila. It looks like a Final Fantasy boss or summon. Yeah, it looks like something from old school Final Fantasy as well. Back when they still had like really detailed artists drawing things up, but yeah, it feels off in Heroes. Anyways. Plus two to all stats within seven rows and seven columns centered on unit during combat. It's a during combat buff, so this can stack infinitely. Rally defense res plus, that's 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 okay. That's good. You know, dual rally pluses are nice to have. Extra points. Sure. Bracing stance three. If Oni hits combat, grants defense res plus six during combat, inflicts special cooldown charge minus one on foe per attack. Bracing stance is really, really good. Your two some heroes, some defensive heroes are so slow that you can't salvage their speed. You can salvage your defense or res though, and in this case, defense and res, the two primary defensive stats. So, defense res plus six and the guard ability is really, really, really good. This is automatically the best best skill for a lot of heroes out there. That Fallen Burkut that we checked out probably would like Bracing Stance, for example. This is the artist that did Bantu, Gunther, Jagonogma, and Zephyo. Here's the thing, Shadowmaster Luigi. I appreciate that art. It's just so different for Farm Heroes. I'm not sure if it's, uh, it's a good idea. I was just wondering how it was going to bring back Isolation after getting Bridal Fjorm. Now I know. Well, now I don't- now I know too, because I didn't read it yet. I- I stopped at Brazing Stance. 
Okay, there's sabotage attack three. Who really cares? This has been on other heroes. Mule's turn will, a third turn, inflicts isolation on foes in Carl's direction with defense greater than units defense through their next actions. Somebody banned that man for spoiling me. He couldn't just wait 10 seconds. I just, I was being polite and letting the chat play out first. Come on. Couldn't you just wait 10 seconds more? All right, well, isolation was only on Bridal Fjorm. Isolation is a fantastic skill. I like using it a lot. Bridal Fjorm has won me a lot of battles that I don't, as otherwise don't deserve to win. This can lock down rally traps. It can lock down dancers. This can lo lock down restore restore traps as well. This locks down a lot of things. It's a very good skill in Aether Raids. I personally use it every other season. I have two Bridal Fjorms for that matter. I'm considering running double Bridal Fjorms for one for both seasons. Anyways, Milo's turn wheel is going to be really good just from that respect. It deployed in Aether Raids offense during light season. Grants turn limit plus one. Uh Okay. Seriously, guys? Seriously? Um I've lost Ether Raid battles because I didn't have enough turns. But you seriously want us to pull a new hero just so we can have an extra turn? S seriously? Ah oh, yes, you gotta do better than that, man. You gotta do better than that. The majority of your Ether Raid battles finishes way before turn seven. Okay, I get it. It's isolation and extra turn, but come on, are you even trying anymore? And it also just makes the mode feel cheap because you can literally pull for a hero and she'll give you an extra turn. So instead of the battle automatically ending on turn 7, it automatically ends on turn 8. And I'm assuming you can stack this up now so you can do double Mila for turn 9. Uh, this just feels a bit cheap, guys. Plus two all stats to virtually the entire map. Is not that the much. The C skill needs units defense being higher. Yes, I know. I said that. Yeah, you want a higher defense. Anyways, the extra turn is, uh, is wacky. Isolation for those who forgot. Target cannot use or be targeted of assist skills through their next action. So things like uh, target skills like dance and sing, skills on neutralized penalties like restore and harsh command plus, etc., are all canceled. But it's in there's an interesting thing to this. So for example, if I'm using this on Ophelia. And Ophelia wants to rally, she can't rally anymore. But if Ophelia moves forward, she can still get danced. Even though this technically says she can't be, as soon as they use her turn, isolation's gone. So they can be used, they can be danced and sung on. So isolation's usually used on dancers and singers. Well, that feels a bit cheap. I don't know, you guys let me know what you think about Mila. I actually am surprised. I was hyped as soon as I saw the name, but... Isolation has been done before. An extra turn feels unnecessary. I mean, it'll probably get you a few extra wins. It allows you to take your time a bit more, but most Ether Raid battles end before turn seven. Two extra stats, even though it covers the entire field and two extra stats is two extra stats. I mean, it's if you get a resplendent hero, that's plus two to all stats. But ugh, it's it's not gonna be a game changing, man. A dual rally is cool and all. Bracing stance is good fodder. Sabotage attack will make it think make things annoying for your opponent, but I don't know, man. Instead of a C skill, it should have been an assist that undoes a turn like in the game. Yeah, see, if Mila's turn one can undo a turn, I think it might be too broken. But at the same time, this just feels underwhelming. Sorry guys, if you're really excited about her and you're listening to my disappointment and you're like, you know, upset at me, I apologize, but why do I feel like that weapon is like, hey, we are sorry for paywalling the two to status. Let's make you spin orbs to get a unit that does it for you. Here's the thing, guys. She's light. All right. She's colorless and she's light. That's cool and all, but who do we have on light? We have Peony. Let me ask you, would you replace Peony with Mila? I don't think you would do that. Would you replace Air? Now that's where it comes down to. Um, So... I, and honestly, air is not bad. Air has a lot of utility to her. I, if she were on the other seasons on Astra, I can totally see a case for her because on Astra we have Altina, we have Naga, we have, well, we don't have a lot of options is what I'm trying to say. So it would have made more sense if she were Astra, but I guess they're trying to like keep it in theme and go with light here instead. Burkut's attacking Mila and that's it. Oh, turn three of eight. Okay, okay. 
that's all they're trying to show. Just Milo's turn wheel being activated. All right, my bad, my bad. It's so, again, guys, I think that's really insignificant. All right, let's see the heroes on the rest of the banner. It is Ludring Ephraim, Ludring Hector, Ludring Alm, Ludring Elliewood, Ludring Lucina. There are so many Ludring, Ludring Julia. Is this Ludring the banner? Are there any non Ludring Leaf? Are <laughs> what? Okay, Ocean. Wow, look, a normal hero. Congratulations, Ocean. You, you're a normal guy. <laughs> Um, he's, he's decent for fodder reasons as well. I mean, his A skill. Uh, Larcy, congratulations. That's one of the best Swords heroes in this entire game. Uh, she also has Regno Astra. Mythic Leaf. And Annette. What the heck? This is predominantly legendary or mythic heroes, guys. Okay. It shows her stats for a brief second. It does? Okay, one second. I'm trying to check it out. Oh! Oh, you're right. It shows our stats for a brief sec. We got it. We got it, boys. We got our stats. Okay. Man, that passes so quickly, man. We got it. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Okay. She has 41 HP, 53 attack, 17 speed, 43 defense, and 37 res. That is a shit ton of defense. Holy crap. 43? 43. Well, her breath adds three, so it's 40 base. That is a lot, though. 37 res, that is still respectable. And keep in mind, she has one of her stances, plus six defense, plus six res. So when you hit her, she has 49 defense and 43 res. And of course, she has sabotage attack. If that is on your on the enemy hero, they are really doing no damage. She has 17 speed, but that's all right. If you're taking no damage, who really cares? 53 attack is respectable, and it's for mages and whatnot, targeting lower defense or res. Though she doesn't have DC, gotta keep that in mind. 41 HP is kind of low, but that's all right. All right, man. She's solid. She's solid, but I still don't... I don't want to be... I don't want to already say it, but... I don't think I'm pulling. I don't, because... This, I would rather use Peony and Air. Now, I, I will say, if I did get the opportunity to use her, I would be pretty happy. Having isolation at all times up for Here light season. Here's a question to consider. If you run multiples of her in R, does the extra turns stack? I, I assume yes. One copy means eight turns, two copies means nine turns, etc. Yeah, two copies means nine turns, but having extra turns doesn't isn't that big of a deal. Most Ether Raid battles ends way before your turn limit um, hits the end of it. But for me, mostly, this comes down to, do I want isolation or not? Because plus two all stats, you know, that's still 10x, well, 8 extra stats. But it doesn't change things too, too much. It's mostly about isolation and whether I, I need it or not. But I already have, like, an extra Bridal Fjorm, so. And I don't need isolation in every battle. And other than that, I have merges on air, which provides extra points than she does. So, it comes down to that. Dancer slash buffer. Air is disarmed trap. Can't give those up. For those who have Disarm Trap on air, you really can't give it up. Disarm Trap on air is such a good, good commitment. She can step on a trap, shoot, savage blow, um, debuff, and then somebody else can take over for the rest of the battle. Air is not to be slept on. And of course, she can also heal your team for 10 HP, lowest HP heroes on your team for 10 HP. Like She has a lot of utility, so she can't be slept on. Anyways, Mila is a light hero, and I can't get over this face. Ooh. Light hero, presumably adding defense, colorless. I would say the best color by far would probably be, probably be colorless. Uh, Legendary Leaf is amazing, Legendary Alm is amazing. Two of the best archers in the game. Mila's a new girl around. Even if I'm not that hype about her, I can definitely see her role in the team. Plus two to all stats, isolation, sabotage attack. She has a role to play. A uh, ton of defensive stats as well. Bracing stance is nice on her. But yeah, you take it all together. Uh, she's she's fine, but I don't think she's necessary. Red also seems pretty good because of Mythic Leaf. Ludry Elliewood and Larcy. Yeah, red is really good too. Red is amazing as well. Green. Um, green's okay. Annette is actually a really good Aether Raids hero because if she rallies somebody, they get an extra movement. And that can really mess people up. And she are always target lower of defense or res. Blue's also pretty good because of... Ledring Lucina, but Ephraim is not that great anymore, so... Yeah, I think it's mostly colorless and red. Between those two are the best ones. Anyways, let me know what you guys think about the banner, if you're pulling or not. 
you know my thoughts here. I I would like to be much more hype about this banner, but... If that C skill worked in all modes, then I would pull but just either. Let's be honest, if you don't win by turn 5, you just surrender. Most times, yeah. Most times you end, up, end it quickly, and if it drags out, you have a good chance of losing. But I guess that extra turn could help people, and it probably saves them some wins. But I don't think it's necessary. Anyways, that's Mila, guys. Let me know what you think.